I cannot find a comfortable position. Hi guys, so I am 37 weeks and four days today. Yeah, I'm doing this video a little bit later this week. Symptom number one, you're gonna notice that I am out of breath as ever. Like I just, a lot of people have been pointing it out on my vlogs lately, like when I'm just like doing anything. I'm so out of breath, just like talking, doing anything. It's like I cannot keep up with myself. So just literally sitting here on the floor talking to you guys makes me out of breath. I have a long list of symptoms this week. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So my number one symptom this week is that I've been having so many contractions, non-stop contractions, like all day long never any consistency whatsoever but they're get, starting to get really annoying at this point i just wish that they would like turn into something and they always pick up at night i think i've mentioned this before but my contractions always will pick up at nighttime but now i am having them like all day long from like the time i wake up and then all through the day but i have not lost any of my mucus plug <laughs> i haven't had any other signs of labor at all other than the baby dropping and just lots and lots and lots of contractions. So that's kind of a bummer because I feel like all this stuff that my body's putting me through, like, I don't know, I should feel like a little closer to labor maybe, you know, like a smidge. But this baby is just so, sorry, it cannot get comfortable. Oh, I don't recommend sitting on the floor when you're 37 weeks pregnant. I don't even remember what I was saying now. I'm just gonna go back to my list. <laughs> oh yeah, so I have been having so many contractions, no mucus plug, nothing, no other like labor signs other than those things. I have another midwife appointment tomorrow. I'm recording this video a day early, so Today's actually Thursday. You'll be seeing this video on Friday. My appointment is on Friday, but it's not till way later in the evening. I wanted to wait to make this video. I'm not gonna have enough daylight to like actually make the vlog and then edit the vlog and upload the vlog because we have stuff to do in the evening as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this video now and make sure you follow me on like Facebook and Instagram to see if there's any like big update after that midwife appointment, but I highly doubt it at this point. I am hoping that she will check me at the appointment, but my midwife, I don't know if all midwives are like this, but mine really doesn't like to check for dilation unless it's like absolutely necessary because every time you do check for dilation, you have a risk of infection and you have a risk of just like stirring things up before it's ready. I'm gonna ask her too because I really, really, really wanna know. I wanna like feel like my body is like doing something, you know? I, I just kinda wanna know if I'm like dilated at all. I've been so desperate that I've been Googling like how to check your own cervix. <laughs> just so you know, I haven't had any luck. This week, I feel like the baby has gotten so big like I feel like the baby had a huge growth spurt like I swear I would not be surprised if the baby gained a whole pound in this last week since I made my last video I have just like grown huge out of nowhere and on top of that like the movements are like significantly more painful you can just tell how big your baby is like you can obviously like feel the body parts and stuff like that especially me with my muscle separation and I just feel like this baby got so large in this last week so I'm hoping that my midwife can tell me tomorrow what she thinks that this baby is weighing because she was spot on with Landon she told me eight and a half pounds he came out eight pounds eight ounces dead on <laughs> so this week since the baby is so low I've been having so much cervix pain and I've been having the cervix pain but it's just been like amplified I feel like every day it gets worse every time I like sit on the toilet specifically if I go to stand up I'll just like freeze midair and just like plop right back down I'm like I'm not going anywhere I'll just be like walking around you just get like this sharp cervix pain and a lot of people pointed out it's called lightning crotch I think it's called lightning crotch and I forgot that it actually had a name but that's what that is it's called lightning crotch and let me tell you it feels like lightning hit your crotch the baby has been practice breathing a lot ever since I talked about the one time that I noticed it in last week's video I've noticed it probably about three more times since and I've noticed that it's pretty consistently at the same time every day that I notice it anyway it's always like in the evening and then usually the baby gets the hiccups right afterwards and it's just so fascinating I've tried to pull out my camera a few different times but it's so subtle you can barely see it to like with your own eyes let alone like with a camera but I can actually like feel it if I'll put my hand on my stomach it's just like the slightest little movements and it looks just like a newborn breathing like if you look at a newborn stomach 
just exactly the same. It's just insane. It's so crazy, fascinating. I don't remember ever seeing this with any of my other kids and it's just so cool to watch. Baby still gets hiccups all the time, not just after um, practice breathing, still multiple times a day all the time. And I've also been noticing that I've had a lot of pressure on my bladder. Obviously when you're pregnant, you just pee more, you, or you feel like you have to pee more because the baby's growing. But this week, there have been times where I'll be sitting perfectly fine, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I have to pee. It's like I will pee myself if I do not go get to the bathroom right this second. And it's like, two seconds ago, I didn't have to pee, but now all of a sudden, I feel like I'm literally going to wet myself. The baby is like, right up on my bladder, right up on my cervix. You can tell it's just like super down low. There's no room for anything anymore except that baby. And since the baby is so big, I cannot get my shoes on anymore. Doesn't work, it just doesn't work. I have been wearing flip flops, mind you it's been raining, and I've been wearing my slippers pretty much anywhere that I can get away with it. If Chris isn't home, the chances of me actually being able to get like normal shoes on is not very likely. Most of the time Chris has to help me actually like put my shoes on. It is just the hardest task in the world. Like the little things that you take for granted when you're not massively pregnant, like shaving your legs and putting shoes on. You just never realize the little things throughout the day that you take advantage of. I have been getting any sleep pretty much just because of how huge and uncomfortable I am I literally feel like a whale rolling from one side to the other side and I'm not the kind of person who can sleep on one side all night I have to like toss and turn I just always have been and on top of that I have to pee every time I move so it's like I'll be on one side I'll get super uncomfortable and I'm like in pain and so I switch to the other side and then I'll get comfortable and then I have to pee and then I'll do again all night long so I at this point I feel like I'll get more sleep with a newborn than I am actually being pregnant and overall I've just been noticing that I move like a sloth. My bus, obviously you guys have seen my bus. I have a 12 passenger Nissan van and to climb in and out of that thing, holy crap y'all, it just doesn't work. It takes me like a whole two minutes to like climb into the car and like climb back out of the car. I feel like a massive like I don't know, I can't even explain it. Even walking, I waddle like I have more swag than anyone I've ever met. And then on top of that, I'm just like going so slow. Like put anybody who's around me is just like, what? come on Jessica, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm just so uncomfortable, I can't breathe, I can't sleep, I can't walk. I can't do anything. And obviously since the baby's been growing so much, my belly has just been physically feeling heavier and that's partly related to like the lack of sleep and just like literally everything that I just talked about. That goes hand in hand with the baby getting bigger and on top of that, I feel like I've gained so much weight in this past week. I gained like four pounds in the last week alone. It's partly because my appetite has come back and probably because this baby is just like getting huge. Once I hit 37 weeks, my midwife wanted me to start taking the 5W supplement and if you don't know what that is just google it I don't really know how to explain it other than it's just like a supplement to try to like help your body prepare for labor and delivery and then I've also started taking the evening primrose oil and I've been drinking the red raspberry leaf tea so I'm like taking so many like herbal supplements and drinking like natural teas and stuff like that to try to get my body like familiar with like the idea of having this baby not two weeks late. So like I mentioned, I do have a midwife appointment tomorrow and at that appointment we're going to do the strep B test because I was strep B positive with the twins and then I was negative with Landon and negative with Lilia. I'm not sure how that plays out as far as if you plan a home birth. If anybody knows, if anybody's been strep B positive while planning a, hem a home birth, let me know how that works. And I she said we would discuss our options if it did come up positive and then we would go from there. But I'm just kind of curious at this point if one was to test strep B positive, what you would do in the case of having a home birth. So if anybody's familiar with that, definitely let me know. Symptom wise, that's pretty much it. I'm just miserable all the time. Oh, here comes Landon. Like a ball. <laughs> you got a ball. Can you say hi guys? Hi ball. Hi ball, okay, throw it at the camera. Oh, Landon. Hey Landon. No. I tried distracting him, but it looks like he's gonna join this video with me. So if you hear him in the background, don't mind him. Yeah. I've 
I've had a lot of people ask me if I have come up with a decision whether or not I want Lilia in the room because I did mention that a few videos back about Lilia expressing interest in being there for the birth. And at this point, this is what are you doing? <laughs> at this point, this is what I'm kind of thinking. It's all going to come down to when I go into labor. Like obviously if I go into labor at night or if I have the baby at night, I don't think I'm going to necessarily wake her up to do it. And if I go into labor and she's like at Gabe's house already for his weekend or something, I probably won't call him and say like bring her over you know what I mean like I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear it depends on if she's like in school what day of the week it is how she's feeling that day and we're just gonna kind of go from there it's not really a hundred percent yes or a hundred percent no but I'm not at all against her being there so it's just gonna come down to um just kind of like how it plays out like a ball you got a ball baby I'm a mouse you got many mouth <laughs> who's the other one who's that one ducky ducky daisy duck Who's that? Mouse. Minnie Mouse. Who's on your shirt? Look, who's on your shirt? Minnie Mouse. Mickey Mouse. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. You want to show? Oh. Who are you? Oh, another thing that I've noticed this week, symptom-wise, is that I have been swelling so much, and it's like terrible. Like my shoes aren't fitting. My ring leaves marks on me all the time. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a mark from wearing my wedding ring um, because my hands are that swollen. Sometimes I'll just wake up and they'll be swollen. Other times I'll wake up and they'll be fine and then they get sw they swell more throughout the day. So I don't know what that's about, but that is so annoying. I've just been like swelling up like a little balloon. My feet have been swelling, my hands have been swelling, and my joints have just felt so sore. Like my whole body actually has felt very, very sore like my joints and just like my muscles everything I think my body is just like giving up it's just like passing out like I'm done Jessica I can't do this whole baby making thing anymore I did get the rest of the outfits for the whole like for each of the newborn outfits I talked about this before but I'm gonna have like one set boy outfit for the baby's like first outfit and one set girl outfit for if it's a girl so that way Boy or girl, I have two like adorable little outfits picked out because that's kind of the fun of it. We haven't gotten to do a whole lot of shopping because we don't know the gender. So I have one boy outfit and one girl outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys before I forget. I did show you guys these, the onesies already that I have picked out for a boy and a girl. This one is the one we have for a girl and this one is the one we have for a boy. They're basically the same thing except one is in blue and one is in gold. So for the girl outfit, I actually have a few different options because a friend of mine gave me a bunch of bows so I figured why not just have like some options I guess. Um, this is going to be the onesie and then I got this skirt from Babies R Us that will go with that and I also have one other skirt that's just pink. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do this skirt or that skirt but, but I'm thinking this onesie with this little skirt right here. Of course you have to do a tutu. And then for the bows, my friend gave me these two bows and originally I had bought this bow that I really fell in love with um, for if it was a girl. So I honestly haven't really decided. It's just gonna depend on if it's a girl and if it is what fits her, I guess. There's this onesie with this bow and this skirt or there's that bow or there's that bow. And then if it's a boy, I fell in love with these little legging things. So this is the onesie here. And then I bought this set off of Etsy. And it's these little, tell me those aren't freaking adorable, leggings and a matching little beanie to go with it. So I thought that was just so super adorable. It was exactly what I was looking for. So if it's a boy, this will be Jackson's first outfit. And if it's a girl, this will be Adeline's first outfit. I can't believe that... I'm actually going to know if it's a boy or a girl. Like, it feels surreal. Like, this whole time, it's just been so... We call the baby an it, or we just say he or she, so we don't call it an it, knowing that we don't know what it is. It's just weird. It's just weird that, like, after all this time, I've carried this child for nine months, and not knowing if it's a boy or if it's a girl, and the fact that I'm going to find out is kind of insane. Because <laughs> usually you like mentally prepare yourself, and then you find out when you're still pregnant, and then you have time to prepare yourself to have a daughter or a son, but it's just such a different feeling and different experience not knowing. And let me tell you, it's just, I don't even think it's gonna be real after I have him or her. I think it's gonna take me a while to like realize, wow, I actually have another son or another daughter. You know, it's just gonna be insane. So those are the outfits that I have. Oh, I'm so in love with them. And I think that is actually pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 37 week belly. Oh man, I have to pee. Hang on. 
So here is with the shirt on. I should probably take this thing off. Tell me what you guys think because I feel like I've grown dramatically this last week. Here's with the shirt on. And here is with the shirt up. I just feel huge and it feels so heavy. That is the 37 week belly. And look, my shirts don't even fit anymore at all. That is it for this week's video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'll probably update on those if the midwife says anything. Also, make sure you turn the notifications on for my YouTube videos and for I think you could do it on Facebook and on Instagram as well for when I go into labor because you guys know I'm going to be telling you the second I think that it's even possible. So I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I will talk to you guys on Monday for our next video. Bye. Say good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. I've had like a mental breakdown this last like week and a half and I've just been feeling really bad and so